everyone, my name is Amanda and today you might be wondering where I am but no worries, I have only moved up the stairs and today I am in our TV room, living room, whatever because today I'm going to go through some of the books in our family bookshelf. I have no idea if this video will be interesting Hopefully it will be. I have no idea. The only way we can find out is to actually do the video, so... This bookshelf is basically the books that my mom has read, that my dad has read. I also have some books in here that I don't want in my room, even though that's not very many. But these are mostly my mom and dad's books. They are really old ones, there are some new ones, and I thought it would be fun to just go through some of them and talk about my family's reading habits or what they like to read. And I know we all like bookshelf tours, right? As you probably can see, this bookshelf is pretty large, so I won't go through every book in here. I just I'm just gonna go through and see what I find. I haven't really looked into what is in here, so this will be an experiment. And if there is any books I find interesting, I will present them to you and we can talk about them. So the bookshelf is divided into 16 squares and I thought we would take two at a time to speed things up a bit. I'm just quickly going to go through the books that are here. So here we have one of the first books I actually reviewed on YouTube. This is The Talisman by Stephen King. And let's just say that if you want to go watch that, it's on your own risk. You might die from its horridness. But anyway, this is actually a book that I have read and I really enjoyed it. This is Born to Run by Christopher McDougall. And I don't think that anyone in my family has actually read that book. We have some Anne Holt. We have some Swedish authors, this is Kaisa Inimason. We have some Kitty, which is my mom's, she used to read Kitty a lot. We have some more Swedish authors, some Tom Clancy, Stephen King, Colin Adolf T again, that's a Swedish author. As you can probably see, there will be a lot of Stephen King and there will be a lot of Tom Clancy in this video because that is my dad's favorite authors. If we move along, we can see that we have some more Swedish authors. We have Lisa Marklund. Here we have Lars Kepler. He has written the books about the hypnotist. And my mom just loves these books. She's in love with them. They're crime. And I talked about them in my Swedish authors video. We have Guinness World Records 2008 and 2010. I used to love looking in Guinness World Records books because there are just so many crazy records in there. If we move on we can see that we have some more Stephen King, some more Stephen King. These are read to death. You can see the spines are so broken. This is actually my book I wanted in a competition. It's by Magnus Lundin and it's called The House at the End of the Road. And I haven't actually read it. What is this? This is Miranda Lee. That's my mom's book. This is Passion. I have no idea what that book is. Let's just put that back. Here are some newer books that is quite exciting. This one is pretty old though. This is Return to Eden by Rosalind Miles. My mom has read this, I think. Uh, these are some books by Swedish authors, mostly crime. This is, I have no idea, no idea. Here we have some more exciting stuff. We have Stig Lawson. He has written the Millennium Trilogy. This is the third book, I believe. I have not read this series yet but I need to get on that bandwagon because it's pretty popular and it's a Swedish author. More Swedish crime, Tom Clancy, Stephen King. That's a really bright book. Let's look at that one. And this is called Primetime by Joanne Collins. It looked really really cute. Here we have some Dan Brown. This one is called Deception Point. I have no idea if it's in the Da Vinci Code series. Don't quote me on that. I have no idea. Moving on, here we have some Efren Moore Cooper. Here is a biography by Morgan Alling, a Swedish comedian. Here are some books by Sidney Sheldon. 
I haven't read any of anything from her. This is also by Sydney Sheldon. Sydney Sheldon. Here is some more Nora Roberts, Daniel Steele, Sandra Brown. Probably my mom's books. Here we clearly have some more Stephen King. This is Stephen King, Stephen King, Barbara Wood, Nora Roberts, Tom Clancy. My dad is a big, big fan of Tom Clancy, like I said. And more Young Grisham, Nora Roberts. I think the Nora Roberts books belong to my mom. And more Stephen King. We move on with some more Tom Clancy, Tom Clancy, Tom Clancy, Stephen King. This is about the plague. This is more Tom Clancy. Now I'm actually in a standing position. Feels a lot better. Here we have some Tolkien books. This is The Fellowship of the Ring. Here is The Two Towers. And here we have The Return of the King. And I have been meaning to read this, but I really want to read them in English. But aren't these covers really, really cool? Here we have some more crime. This is my mom's books. It is Camilla Lekberg. This was one of my old books. It's called The Ghost of Grimstones by Mary Ergen. And yeah, it's about a ghost, I guess. <laughs> Here is another book by the author who wrote a man called Uwe. And that is a quite, it has become quite famous, I believe. This book is called My Grandma is Calling in Saying She's Sorry. And it's by Fredrik Backman. More Swedish authors. Lee Child, 61 Hours. So here we actually have the books I talked about earlier. This is The Hypnotist by Lars Kepler. And more by him, more by him. My mom, just she's crazy about those books. Young Grisham, Grisham, more Young Grisham. These books are written by Henning Mankel, a Swedish author, and he has written the books about Kurt Wallander, which is crying because that is just what Sweden is all about. But they have become movies and series and so on. Well, here are my mom's books, pretty much. June Thompson, Iris Johansson, Amanda Quick, great name. Um, Nora Roberts, Leslie Pierce. So we only have the top shelf left and there aren't many fun books left to be honest. There are some Jacqueline Briskin, I have no idea who that is, Joe Dial. I have actually no idea who these authors are. We have some more Stephen King of course. Stephen King, Stephen King, Stephen King, Stephen King, Stephen King, Stephen King, Stephen King. So these are the last two shelves. I won't go through them all because there's like a crossword lexicon, uh, words, not really anything fun here. This book is by Maria Gabriel, it looks like this. This beast of a book right here, my dad read very recently, and it's called Under the Dome by Stephen King, of course. This is also a TV series, I believe. The last books I will be showing you is by Anne Rice. It is The Interview with the Vampire. These books are actually on my list of books and series that I won't continue on with, because they weren't for me. I love vampires, but they weren't for me. And there you have it! That was our entire family bookshelf. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know how much I will edit away because I basically just said I don't know this author, I don't know this author, I don't know what this book is about. But that's just how it is, folks. I am planning on doing a bookshelf tour of my bookshelf in the end of this year because I did a bookshelf tour in the beginning of this year and I will be doing another one in the beginning of next year because that is just to see how my collection of books is developing and growing and such. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up because that would help me out a lot. Do not forget to subscribe and I'll see all of you guys in my next video, so stay tuned. Bye!